fair warning. If it sounds like I'm a little riled up by what I'm about to say, it's because I am. But do me a favor. Let me get it all out. Then if you disagree with me, have at it. But I just got to say this. I've heard the debate. The fact that we've gone to Game 7 of the Cup Final. Epic collapse or an historic comeback. Please, for the love of all things hockey, please stop calling what's happened to the Florida Panthers a collapse. Because all you're doing is taking away from Connor McDavid leading the Oilers to one of the most incredible comebacks, not only in hockey history, but in sports history in general. For this to be a collapse, you've got to believe the first three games of the Cup Final were a real indicator of who the better team was. A premise I firmly do not believe in. I thought the Oilers were the better team before the series began. I thought they were the better team in Game 1, but just got robbed by Bobrovsky. For 40 minutes of Game 2, they were dead even. And if not for a six-minute stretch of Game 3, the Oilers were in charge of that one as well. The bottom line... I firmly believe the Oilers have been and are still the better team. They've merely underachieved while the Panthers, to their credit, capitalized and pounced to take a commanding three games to nothing lead in the Stanley Cup final. The single biggest factor, Sergei Bobrovsky. It's a no-brainer, no doubt about it. And here's the key, and this is huge. Bobrovsky's numbers through the first three games of the Cup final were way above his head, way better than he'd done in this year's playoffs. A 954 save percentage through the first three games. And now, in the last three games, an 890 save percentage. That's way closer to what he was doing in the playoffs before the, before the start of the Cup final. So, Bob's not bad. He's just back to playing the way he did before his incredible three-game run. And while he was playing above his head... The Oilers were playing way below what they were capable of. Edmonton had the top four scorers in the playoffs heading into the Stanley Cup Final. Then McDavid, Dreisaitl, RNH, and Bouchard went dead silent. Not a single goal by any of them. Or Zach Hyman, who had 14 goals to the first 18 games of the playoffs. Nothing. Not a single goal by any of them through the first three games. Did anyone think that would really last? So here's the deal, and I believe this firmly. The first three games, the Oilers vastly underachieved. While the Panthers played over their heads, the last three games, the Oilers have hit stride, and the Panthers have fallen back to earth. What happens in Game 7, I have no idea. It's one game. Anything can happen. But here's what I will say. If the Oilers do win and complete the historic four-game reverse sweep, it will not be a catastrophic collapse. It will be... The single greatest comeback in NHL history. So sit back and enjoy because no matter what side of the fence you're sitting on, it's going to be a where were you when it happened moment in sports history. Okay, thanks for hearing me out. I'm a little out of air. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think of all this?